Talk about an issue, if we may, that is before uh, you right now. And it deals with our iPhones. Uh, we all have one. And as you know, actually not far from your district in San Bernardino on December 2nd, there was a terrible tragedy. Yes. 14 people were killed as a result of uh, radical Islamist terrorists. And right now the federal government is looking to access the cell phone of one of the terrorists who and actually, the cell phone was owned by this county of San Bernardino, which is an interesting wrinkle. But be that as it may, Apple, the owner of the cell phone, is reticent to unlock the cell phone. Well, it is a new area for the court and for the Congress. Because in the past, the operating system of those iPhones has had a key to open it right. up and give information. And where that has happened and where a court warrant has been given, Apple usually has given up the information. Mm -hmm. But in this particular case, Apple is saying, hey, we don't, have a, we don't have a key. So the question is, can the government mandate to a private company to make a key to open that up? But should they have a key? Should they have had a key? Well, they're in, they're, they're, they are saying, Apple are saying that by not having made a key, we made it so hackers and other people can't get into the system. We can't get into the system, but we've made your phones more secure. So that's where this issue is going to come. And, you know, people, look, the court looks at one court case on a very narrow basis. And they do not have the funds to investigate and think about policy implications. That is the role of Congress. So, so what do you yeah, So I said we need, to, we need to get it before Congress. We need to investigate it. We need to think about what are the policy implications of telling a private company, make a key and have that key available so that we can look at information should a court order that so so a court has ordered it yes and so i'm wondering what do you think have you taken an official position on whether apple should make that key well apple is well, again that's a whole new basis and you know i can understand them because there's policy implications right they've said for example okay well what if we make, the u.s government tells us open it up make a key so we make a key now we've made that system less safe for our users because now hackers may be able to get in now that there is some way to get in. So That's you, one policy yeah. implication. The second policy implication is, okay, so the U.S. government says give us. What about if we have iPhones under Chinese jurisdiction in China? Because China wants to go after human rights people, for These example. These are valid issues. You, you see what I'm saying? I do. That's the Congress's role, to look at this, to think about the policy implications, and to debate and put in law. She'll be back. She is Loretta Sanchez, member of the U.S. Congress, candidate for the U.S. Senate. I'm Brad Palmer into the California Democratic Party Convention. It's Charter Local.